Assalamu alaikum, I am Noor Jaz from Tabir Academy and today we are going to be solving questions for the science aptitude tests for LUMS and these are just sample questions made by Tabir and uh, we are going to cover um, aspects like chemistry, bio and physics in this. We just write this down. Okay, let's start with the first question. John frequently experiences headaches, fatigue, and difficulty concentrating. What common disease might be the culprit? Okay, so let's highlight the symptoms. Headaches, fatigue, and difficulty uh, concentrating. What common disease? So, okay, let's first talk about the migraine. So, migraines are mostly related to headaches, like very severe headaches, but uh, they're not related to fatigue and difficulty concentrating not necessarily they're more headache related so we're going to cut that out it can be chronic fatigue syndrome but just because it's bolded doesn't mean it's correct i'm going to we're going to break down why each option is wrong so you know how to do the process of elimination which is key if you want to solve this in the uh, given time then we have uh, chronic fatigue syndrome so it has a fatigue aspect but we are not sure uh, unless you've studied bio very thoroughly we're not really sure if it deals with headaches but we're going to uh, headaches and the difficulty concentrating part so we're going to move to the other option which is sleep apnea Sleep apnea, I think it's pretty intuitive that when you look at sleep apnea, you can see that it's sleep related issues. So, if it's sleep related, there is nothing uh, related to sleep that is mentioned in the symptoms. So, we're going to cro cross that off. Um, and the last option is lactose intolerance. So, lactose intolerance from lactose, it's uh, we can say it's a lactic acid. Like we can relate it to that, and that is present in milk. So lactose intolerance is like your body cannot, your stomach cannot tolerate milk. Milk and like you can, uh, it's a very common thing. Most people cannot have like um, cheese and drink milk because they cannot handle it. Their body does not react well to it. So they are called lactose intolerant. However, um, this option does not match with any of the symptoms that we have above so we're going to cancel that one out as well so through the process of elimination i didn't use much bio i did for the last part because you're supposed to know what lactose intolerance is and lactose intolerance can and i showed you a way how to remember what it's related to so option uh, b or the second option is the correct answer all done through the process of elimination moving on on a position time graph, a straight line with a negative slope indicates. Okay, so for graphs, especially the position time, there are a few things that you're supposed to know about them. Okay, so the first thing is, um, what is the gradient of a position time graph? It is the speed. Okay, so we know that whatever graph will be formed will be of the speed. Now, uh, the gradient, if it's positive and um, it's, it's a straight line, so it will be um, constant because straight line and it will be in the right direction. Think of this car. So this this uh, when it's going in the a direction it's this graph and when it's going in the b direction which means the opposite it's this graph this is a positive slope this is a negative slope now a negative slope means it's constant but it's in the opposite direction now direction ki baat nahi ho rahi, but in case if it asks you about the direction as well you can tackle that part so we're, we're don't, um, we don't determine the acceleration through this graph most of the time so we're going to cancel out the acceleration parts now we cannot say it's standing still either because when uh, it can only stand still if the gradient is zero and that is only in the case if the uh, line is a straight line like this like a flat horizontal line so what okay uh, in the question it doesn't state that happens so we're going to cross that one out and we're left with 
moving at constant speed jo hame andaza ho gaya tha because we know this but just to show you the elimination aspect of it as well moving on to a more math related problem this is on probability so let's read it um you have a bag with three red balls and two green balls and one blue ball if you close your eyes and pick one ball without looking what's the probability you'll get a ball that's not red okay so probability is um basically you're going to find the total and then you're going to divide it by um the one that you're preferring according to the question so you need a ball that's not red and we're going to divide that with the total number of balls so the total number of balls is 3 red um two green and one blue so the total is 3 plus 2 plus 1 so we'll have 6 right and how many of them are not red these add them up 2 plus 1 so not red n r is equal to 2 plus 1 3 so 3 divided by 6 is our probability and if you simplify it's 1 by 2 so this was a math problem so you itna ya elimination karne ki zarurat nahi this is a typo so i hope that was clear it isn't um that i mean uh, complicated if you know like the basics of probability itni complex nahi hai or they won't test you on conditional probabilities and everything which is uh, harder compared to this basic probability um okay moving on um when a metal is heated it expands which scientific principle is at play here okay so iske liye thodi physics obviously thodi knowledge honi chahiye because isme aap kya elimination karoge you can't look at laws and say oh this might not be related to this hint mil jati hai uh, some way or the other but we know that these two ye boyle's law and charles law both of them are related to gases and we are not talking about gases um pressure wagaira ki to we cancel them off to ye ye bhi isme sort of elimination use hui hai lekin isme academic elimination use hui hai ki you knew pehle se hi ke the what these laws are related to बाकी जो आ, मैंने ऊपर दिखाए थे दे वर मोर इंटिव और कुछ जगहों पे काम चल जाता है बट इन क्वेश्चन लाइक दीज यू के नॉट लाइक जस्ट यूज योर इंटन यू नीड सम एकेडमिक नॉलेज एज वेल सो वी हैव आर्क्यूमेडिस प्रिंसिपल एंड देन वी हैव द थर्मल एक्सपेंशन अब इसमें आप इंटन लगा सकते हैं कि आर्क्यूमेडिस इफ यू नो द थिंग देन यू यू नो दिस इज रिलेटेड टू बोइंसी एंड um so we are not going to we're going to cancel that off because metal ki baat ho rahi hai and heat so heat ki baat ho rahi hai usi se aapko pata chal jana tha chahiye waise thoda sa but you can never be so sure isliye eliminate karke humne apna final answer select kar liya which is a thermal expansion expand or heat ye kafi expansion expand se aapko expansion pata chal gaya and heated se aapko thermal pata chal gaya so i think this was not that um difficult um it's quite straight forward i hope you understood that moving on a magnet attracts iron fillings which fundamental force is responsible for this phenomenon so we have gravitational force electrostatic force nuclear force this again is also quite straight forward magnet ki baat ho rahi hai to magnetic force moving on a f- uh, an experiment involves mixing baking soda baking soda and vinegar so baking soda plus vinegar resulting in the release of bubbles what gas is likely to be produced during this reaction theek hai so this is an experiment obviously kafi familiar experiment hai it could it could be that you've done it at science at a science fair ya aapko ek science project mila ho and you made a personally my experience was i made a volcano out of paper mache and then i had a uh, baking soda and vinegar into it to make like an eruption type of uh, thing so um what it produces a, a, a certain gas in those bubbles so you you're supposed to know that vinegar is an acid or ye ek base hai and base or acid forms um ek to water ban jata hai aur gas bhi release hoti hai 
so um, let's look at the components of what baking soda is baking soda is quite common base so i think you should know ke wo hoti kya hai uh, sodium bicarbonate is baking soda and vinegar is acetic acid both of them are very common bases in acids so aap unka chemical naam yaad kar le to better hoga um, now why is learning the chemical name um, like beneficial so sodium bicarbonate theek hai isse you can tell ke what type of gas will be released okay ab tak to pata chal gaya hoga uh, bicarbonate which means कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिलीज होगी बिकॉज ऑफ द कार्बनेट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट सो इफ इट वॉज नाइट्राइट लाइक इफ इट वॉज सिल्वर नाइट्रेट एंड यू आर सेंग कि किस तरह की गैस इसमें से सोडियम नाइट्रेट इस तरह कह लो एंड यू लाइक यूर लाइक वट गैस विल बी रिलीज अपॉन हीटिंग और इस तरह का आपका पहला इंस्टिंक्ट और आपका पहला गैस यही होगा नाइट्रोजन because it has nitrate right so um learn the basic um kya kehte hain bases and acids ke naam moving on to another chemistry related question ye bhi again this is common knowledge um you should know ke ph that is less than 7 is acidic then Seven is neutral, and seven above is basic. So this is also common knowledge. And rem- remember, K, jo uh, science aptitude test, it's not, it's not testing you on your how much you've memorized. This is not a normal test. From um, my own experience, it was quite different from all the other tests that I've given, like the NET. It's quite different, and um. it's not the standard test where you're asked to calculate this and that like itna matlab aapki calculating skills pe nahi dekha jata jitna aapki problem solving and figuring things out wali skill pe dekha jata it sees more of that aspect which is why it's uh, the most different test um, i think um, available in pakistan which is being conducted i mean so is tarah कॉमन नॉलेज वाली चीज़ें आप याद रख लें डोंट गो टू इन टू द कॉम्प्लेक्स वेयर यूर लर्निंग पता नहीं क्या लाइक यू नो एफ एस सी लेवल केमिस्ट्री बहुत हाई लेवल की केमिस्ट्री या बहुत हाई लेवल की फिजिक्स बहुत हाई लेवल की मैथ बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट बी टेस्टेड ऑन दैट सो वाई वेस्ट योर एनर्जी वैन यू कैन आप कर लें लाइक यू हैव the tabir course as well they have very similar questions and wo up to date bhi karte hain with the latest sample papers and everything to wo sara kuch usko coordinate karke unke questions bane hote hain so do try um, tabir academy's questions as well they're quite um, similar from my own experience um so ab hum uh, back to the question a student notices that the ph of a solution is 3 ठीक है थ्री है अब इस किस कैटेगरी में आता है फर्स्ट कैटेगरी सो इट इज अस्टेडिक बेसिक भी नहीं हो सकता न्यूट्रल भी नहीं हो सकता एल्कलाइन इसका इसका मतलब एल्कलाइन जिस टाइम ओके सो दिस वाज अनदर केमिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन मूविंग ऑन टू अ फिजिक्स क्वेश्चन मन लाइट पासिस फ्रॉम एयर इन वाटर इट चेंज डायरेक्शन वट फिनमिन इज दस ठीक है um, लाई एयर इन टू वाटर ठीक है रिफ्लेक्शन तो हो ही नहीं सकती रिफ्लेक्शन तो ये होता है ना कि देर इज़ अ मिररर एंड इट बाउंस ऑफ द लाइट बाउंस ऑफ पास नहीं करती द लाइट डज इन पास इट बाउंस ऑफ सो दैट इज रिफ्लेक्शन सो इट कॉन्ट बी डिफ्रैक्शन इज लाइक स्प्लिटिंग हो जाती है ना लाइट की सो इट कॉन्ट बी दैट डिस्पर्शन भी नहीं हो सकता बिकॉज इट्स द इफ यू नो द पेरामिड आपको पता होगा कि लाइट बीन जाती है एंड इट separates into so many colors and then it can तो वो तो है ही नहीं ना ये light पास from air to water है उसकी बात ही नहीं हो रही so वे through the process of elimination हमने refraction निकाल लिया और वैसे भी अगर आपने general physics पढ़ी हुई है तो आपको पता होगा कि refraction is the bending of light as it passes from one medium to another such as air to water now नाव um, ये मैंने आपको विदाउट साइंस लगा के थोड़ा समझाया uh, करवाया कि ताकि uh, वही बात है आपको पता हो कि किस तरह 
کس طرح وہ کرنی ہے ایلیمنیشن میں بار بار اس بات کو اس لیے اسٹریس کر رہی ہوں کیونکہ اس کے بغیر آپ کو اگر آپ سوچیں اگر آپ سوچنے میں بیٹھ جائیں گے تو آپ سے نہیں ہوگا کوشچن اور کمپلیٹ بھی کرنا ہے ٹیسٹ یہ نہیں ہے کہ آپ چھوڑ جائیں اٹس بیٹر ٹو اٹمپٹ اٹ دین ٹو لیو اٹ سو اس لیے میں بار بار اسٹریس کر رہی ہوں اینڈ آئی ہوپ یو انڈرسٹینڈ دس کوشچن ایز ویل لیٹس موو آن ٹو انادر کوشچن a scientist observes that plants grow taller when exposed to sunlight what is the independent variable ab ye jo independent variable hota hai na it is the one jo like hum usko change kar sakte theek hai like uh, uski measurement change kar sakte hain theek hai for example um jo abhi plant height hai hum khud to change nahi kar sakte like اتنی جلدی ایک لائک ہیومن بیسڈ کس طرح آپ کر سکتے سوائل کوالٹی آپ چینج کر سکتے بٹ کین یو چینج دا سوائل اٹ سیلف نو آبزرویشن ٹائم از سم تھنگ وی کین چینج بٹ اس سینس میں اس اس سنیریو میں کیا ہے انڈیپینڈنٹ ویریو سو دیٹ ول بی سن لائٹ ایکسپوجر اینڈ آئی تھنک وی گوئنگ ٹو ٹو ون مور کوشچن اینڈ وی آر ڈن سارا ہیز نوٹس دیٹ ہر گمز آر بلیڈنگ ایزیلی اگین سمٹمس کو آئیڈینٹیفائی کریں اینڈ شی آفن ایکسپیرینسز جوائنٹ پین وچ وٹامن ڈیفیشنسی مائٹ بی ریسپانسبل فار دیز سمٹمس اوکے سو وٹامن اے از ریلیٹڈ ٹو ویژن تو نہیں اگین آپ کو کامن چیزیں فار ایگزامپل وٹامن اے اور اس کی وٹامن سوری مائی اسپیلنگ وٹامن اے بی ون سی ڈی کہ یہ سارے جو جنرل ہیں نا وٹامنس ان کی کیا کہتے ہیں ان کی ان کی سورسز اینڈ دیر واٹ ہیپنس ون یو آر ڈیفیشن فرام دم یہ سب آپ کو ان کی نالج ہوگی سو اٹ ول بی گڈ فار یو ان دا لانگ رن آپ کا ٹیسٹ میں اگر اس طرح کا کوئی سوال آ گیا تو آپ اٹیمپٹ کر سکتے ہیں بی ون از آلسو ناٹ ریلیٹڈ ٹو گمز بلیڈنگ وٹامن سی از ریلیٹڈ ٹو گمز بریڈنگ یہ اس میں آپ اتنی کوئی انٹویشن نہیں لگا سکتے تو اٹس بیٹر ٹو لرن ٹھیک ہے سیم گوز فور ٹام ہیز بین ہیونگ ڈیفیکلٹی سینگ ان لو لائٹ کنڈیشنس لو لائٹ جو بھی ویژن ریلیٹڈ ایشو ہوتا ہے تو وہ ہوتا ہے وٹامن اے کی ڈیفیشنسی سے اوکے اس کو بھی کر لیتے ہیں اس کو میں جلدی سے اسکیم کر لیتی ہوں ایما اسپینس موسٹ آف ایئر ٹائم ان ڈورز اینڈ اوائڈ سن لائٹ ایکسپوجر لیٹلی شی از بین فیلنگ فٹیگ اینڈ نوٹس ویکس اچھا بونس ریلیٹڈ بونس کا آپ نے سنا ہوگا کہ امی ابو کہتے ہیں پیرنٹس اکثر کہتے ہیں کہ دودھ پیا کرو ہڈیوں میں کمزوری ہو بیکاز دے ہیو وٹامن ڈی اینڈ کیلشیم اینڈ وہ ضروری ہوتی ہے اینڈ وٹامن ڈی از سم تھنگ سن لائٹ سے ملتی ہے جو صبح کی سن لائٹ ہوتی ہے اس سے بھی ملتی ہے اس کو بھی اوائڈ کر رہی ہیں ایما تو وہ اس سے وٹامن کی ڈیفیشنسی وٹامن ڈی کی ڈیفیشنسی ہو جاتی ہے نہ وہ ملک ملک پینے سے اس کو آپ سفائس کر سکتے ہیں بٹ دے آرنٹ آسکنگ کس طرح کرنا ہے سو دزنٹ میٹر بٹ دا مور یو نو یا آئی تھنک ویئر ڈن سو آئی ہوپ This was um, a helpful session and you got to know some uh, questions that can be helpful for you. And um, I hope that you can see the questions in the course if you really want to score, uh, do really well in the test and guarantee admission into the science department. That would be great. Um, their questions are good, are similar and are like bio, chemistry, physics, all domains, even math we cover. Karta hai. So I would highly recommend and I... I uh, wish everyone watching this um, success in their tests. Um, this was Nurjas Alafis.